Hello friend, welcome back. Before starting our Laravel 7 code application, first of all, I want to create our local host environment. Cause I want to create this project in our local host and for the local host, now I want to do, I want to use that XAMPP. And as you know, it's pretty much basic. XAMPP is the free local host server machine. So you will get that things from the Google. First of all, you have to download that software and, it, and it's pretty much simple things. You have to just install that XAMPP and when you install it successfully, you will get this type of one of the box. And here, first of all, you have to do, you have to run the Apache and the MySQL. So right now, I just start our Apache and the MySQL. And also, when you install that XAMPP, you will get one of the folder in your system. Like I install it in our C drive, into the C drive, it will be created one of the folder as a XAMPP. And into the XAMPP folder, if you go to that stdocs, and stdocs is the main root directory of your local host. So whatever the project you will create, you will have to do, you have to create it in particular that area. So for right now, I want to do, I want to create one of the project and for the project, I define one of the folder name as a pro4. Okay. So now I just, I, I just create one of the folder as a pro4. You can see I have some of the project as a pro1, 2, 3. So right now I want to create one of the seven code application in particular that folder area. And also when you install that XAMPP, then you will get uh, one of the local host, like I just simply define as a local host. And into the local host, there is actually the PHP version and that is our PHP my admin. Like if you go to that Laravel official website and if you go to that documentation and into the documentation, if you go to that release notes and into the release notes here, you can see that is all that release notes. That is a version seven is now released in March 3rd, 2020. And that is all that our seven and the 5.8. Okay. So that is our release note. So right now I want to create our project with this Laravel seven. And then if you go to that get started and if you go to the installation into the installation process, they have some of the requirements. You can see there is a PHP version. You have to also update your PHP version 7.2.5. So when you install that XAMPP, okay, well I already installed it. So if you go to the XAMPP, that is a local host, automatically that is actually the XAMPP. Into the XAMPP area, there is a PHP my info. So now if you click on here, and now here you can see my PHP version I am using as a PHP 7.3.7. .7. So now it's perfect for install that Laravel. Okay, so that is actually the main one of the requirements. So I have already updated my PHP version now 7.3.7. .7. Perfect. So now I'm ready for install that Laravel, right? And also one things you have to do, you have to download that Node.js. So go to that Node.js official website and then go to the downloads. And now there is actually the in Windows. So if you are using that Windows, you can download it from here. If you use that Mac, then you can download it from here. Okay. And also the bit, there is a 32 bit or the 64 bit. So you have to do, you have to download it fast. So it's pretty much simple on the software. If you click on here, you can see it's now downloading. So here you have to do, you have to just install it. It's pretty much simple process. Okay, just uh, make that sure you install that Node.js. Of course, it will be uh, needed. So from the Node.js file from here, you have to download it. Okay, you have to download it and also you have to install that simple software. So I have already installed that Node.js. So right now it's okay with me. And also for this project, I want to use that one of the editor as a sublink text editor. So whatever the editor you will like for right now for this project, I will use that sublink text editor. You can use that Node++, you can use that visual code editor, whatever the code editor you like. So right now for this project, I want to use that sublink text editor, okay? So friend, that's all. So that is the editor will be needed. Uh, you have to download that Node.js and also make that sure your PHP version. So I have already updated my PHP version as a 7.3.7. .7. So now we are ready for install that Laravel. Okay. So friend, in our next video, I want to show you how can you install the Laravel in your localhost server. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.